the church were having service when suddenly some people came I think maybe the policemen so I, I can't really figure out because I was not focusing on that area but I knew some of there was one person that jumped in without he just jumped in and um, things shall change and they started breaking doors and everything so they were just harassing people anyhow and during service, there was even one that came in, the micro microphone stand we were using to sing, took it and was just knocking it on some cause he wanted to collect the person's phone. So the thing shah went all over and the, the, the security operatives came and they said he wanted to gain entrance. Did they open the gate? Why? I don't know about that. So since when have you been attending that church? I was born there and I was educated there too. Left there. Why? To them, they know best to them why they left there. But as for me, because this Christianity is a personal journey, is a personal revelation, and God will account us individually. So they have their own reasons for living, but I do not see it. Did they tell you to leave? They asked me to leave. Why did you leave? Because, as, as I said earlier, that I do not have a one reason to hold on to that. This is what. This is the reason why I won't be attending there. Because the words I've been hearing there, I know the impact they are making in my life. I know how they are changing me. So it looks confusing to just, because my dad said he's not going there, I have to go. I defied it when this issue of don't go to church and everything started and it landed in the court. So it was making me emotionally unstable. They went, those policemen came in and they threw um, this, um, what's it called? Yes. So it was affecting those children. So they had to run inside the um, bunker. So that was where the policemen also brought them out. So that was what really happened about that. It was that to even hide myself. I, need, I needed to hide my, my eyes. So it was this tear gas they threw and the way they were throwing things. So that was what made the children to run inside the place. So it was not that they kept them. They never kept them somewhere that is not convenient or no. Why did you sign to the church? I left the church because of unscriptural and ungodly uh, ways by which the pastor and the assistant pastor are connected to the church. We are following doctrines that are not established in the Bible. And they are teaching the children not to obey their parents. They are making the, the husband, they are making the husband to hate the wife. They are making the wives to disconnect and divorce their husband, serving the wife, the husband with a divorce letter and all sort of things. And the pastors could not be corrected. And to worsen the whole uh, situation, they now capitalize on visions, prophecies, and uh, dreams to lead and dictate for the life of the people without following the Bible. So whatever the prophecies say, if you look at their air now, all the women, they don't place their air because there was a prophecy that nobody should place their air. Otherwise, they will not go to heaven. Yes, at the time I was leaving the church, that was June last year, that's June 2021, when I've made up my mind to leave because of the, I told my father, I told my mother, because we were all attended the church, that we have to leave this place, we no longer contain all these things that I do. So we left the church and we informed the daughter, I said, with my wife, my wife is here. We all left the church, but my daughter said she had to remain in the church until she is personally convinced. My lapses are that I, I, I tried to leave my daughter when I was leaving the place. I made that mistake. I should have taken her out, but I left her not knowing that she was already hooked to somebody in that church, that they were planning to uh, marry, they were doing their boyfriend and girlfriend. 
Me, I didn't know it was later I got to know and I reported to the police and the boy was arrested. He's even here. I never indoctrinated any child, sir, to disobey his parents. We were having seven days meeting on God's instruction that we should lock the gate and be with him for seven days. And we are a, a, and the church as a the church, the old Bible Believers Church, including many members that have left, they knew that the church is a church that always listen to God's instruction and are already, always ready to do God's bidding. So when God instructed us that we should camp with him for seven days, we, we obeyed. And all the people that came, they were all instructed that this is the program God has for us. So, so if you are coming, make sure you put everything in order at home before you're coming, so that your people, your parents, anybody will know what you are doing here. That is it. So when we were at the meeting for that seven days, police officers came. And some of the church officers went to meet with them. They came on Friday. That was yesterday. They went to meet them that we are in program mode and the program is going to end by Sunday. That is tomorrow. That they should please, on Monday, we will honor any invitation they want us to come and honor. Period. But the police never, never, never listed. They went ahead, broke the gate, removed fence, broke the fence, and forced themselves in. When they forced themselves in, they, they shot five bullets in the, in the, in the church. He uh, shot tear gas in the church. In fact, they shot tear gas even to the children that are in the church. So, this led to violence. They took up sticks, started beating the women and the young children in the church. In the church. No, these are the children. They were not kept in bad condition. These are the children. You can, meet, you can talk to them. Yes, a mother yesterday, yesterday evening went to the station to report a case of abduction that some of her children left home since last week and they were yet to get back. And she said she knew where they were. Policemen who actually followed her to where they were realized it was a church. And while trying to talk to the pastor of the church, the members there turned violent and attacked the policemen. It took the help of some of the people in the area to douse the tension. And we found out that there were 77 members who were there. What we had, according to the few investigations that had been done, was that the assistant pastor there told them Jesus was supposed to come by April, but later told them that rapture was going to take place by September 2022. And because of this, he encouraged some of them to stay back in church and told them there was no basis going to school, that they were to obey their parents in the Lord and not their biological parents. After that, we also realized that they were kept in an underground within the church. That's where they've been sleeping. We have a case of one of the members who left school, a part three student who left school without the consent of the parents, and left home. And has been staying there since January. We also have those who feel, since their parents do not believe in what they believe, then their parents are not in the Lord, so they cannot obey their parents. Investigation is ongoing, and of course, at the end of the day, they will be charged to court. But we have 26 children, we have about eight teenagers, and we have about 43 adults.